All right, guys, in this live, I'm going to be showing you guys how to open up your first wholesale account with a supplier so you can start selling those products on Amazon. All right. So if you're watching this right now and you want to learn how to make money online specifically with Amazon, I want you to comment Amazon right now. I just want to see how many people I have in this live that actually want to learn how to make money with Amazon. Guys, it is a legitimate way to make money online and no one is talking about this. All right. I'm not your typical guru on social media that tells you to source products from overseas, slap a logo on it and try to sell it on Amazon. That's extremely competitive and you got to be like a marketing wizard to sell like that on Amazon. I'm not saying it's impossible, but that's not what I've done. That's not how I've been able to make a lot of money on Amazon. What I'm actually going to show you how to do is pretty simple. So basically explain it by grabbing something real quick. So what I do on Amazon is basically I open up wholesale accounts with big name brands, right? Like this, for example, this brand right here, this is the Dr. Bronner brand, right? Does anyone know this brand? Let me know in the comment section down below this brand. You can find it in a Kroger. You can find it in a Walmart. You can find it in Target. This is a big brand, right? Right? This brand already spends millions of dollars on marketing. This brand is already known by millions of people. And this brand has thousands, if not millions of people searching for it actively on Amazon every single month. So I'm not building a brand from scratch. I'm not selling a product from China and throwing my logo on it. No, I'm partnering with big name brands that people already know, that people already trust, that people already buy. And I'm opening up wholesale accounts with them, buying their products at a wholesale rate, and then selling them for retail on Amazon and I'm doing this at a large scale, right? So we're ordering the products in bulk. And then what happens is the supplier doesn't ship us the inventory. I don't want to keep all the inventory in my office, right? I don't want to hold any inventory. What happens is they take all that inventory and they ship it directly to Amazon's warehouse. Amazon holds your inventory. And then every order that you get, Amazon takes a fee. That's how they make their money. And then they ship it directly to their customer. So that's how basically I've been able to make a substantial amount of money on Amazon. All right. I'm about to show you guys exactly how to open up your first wholesale account on uh so you can start selling on amazon okay so let me see if you guys got some questions my customers don't want to wait 30 to 45 days and that's the beauty of selling on amazon because you're not holding your inventory because you're not shipping any of the products when you order on amazon you get prime shipping right so when amazon holds your inventory they're shipping to your customers with prime shipping within one to two days which is why i love selling on amazon right so let me let me get into the game Game, right because y'all came in here to learn how to make money to learn how to start making at least a thousand dollars a week to learn how to build another stream of income let's get into the game all right so a lot of people underestimate this method right here okay guys so a lot of people underestimate this method right here so people ask me yo will how can i open up a wholesale account with a big name brand right like how, how can i do this well number one you're gonna need an llc if you don't know how to get an llc very simple you're gonna go to the secretary of state website for wherever you live right so i live in georgia so i I would go to the secretary of state georgia i would go to this website right here and here is where i'll be able to purchase my llc right in georgia an llc is only about a hundred dollars okay so with a hundred dollars i can have my llc ready to go right the next so you can see right here it says Re register for a domestic llc with the secretary of state okay so here i can go and pay for it and create it and it's only a hundred dollars in georgia all right the next thing that you'll need is you'll need to go to google and type in department of revenue and then the name of your the name of your state, right? So I would go to the Georgia Department of Revenue because I live in Georgia and I would go right here to get my reseller's permit. Okay, you need a reseller's permit so you can open up these wholesale accounts as well. Now, it may be called something different in your state. It may be called a sales tax certificate. It may, it may be called a reseller's license, but here's exactly where you can get it, right? So in, in Georgia, this is what it's called. It's called the sales and use tax. And then here you can get uh, whatever it is that you need to, to submit to your supplier to open up that wholesale account like here you'll be able to find that that exact form right so once you have those two things basically what you would do is you're going to go to google and you're literally going to type in a uh, wholesale or I, i'm actually going to type in distributor right so you're going to type in either wholesale or distributor right so then what happens is google maps is automatically going to pull up distributors or suppliers that are in your local area okay so what i'm showing you right now is is going to get you your first wholesale account because this there's not a lot of competition with this i'm showing you how to use your local area to your advantage because there's not going to be as many amazon sellers hitting up the distributors and wholesalers and suppliers that are in your local area okay so most people are going to be applying with these big suppliers big distributors that are online i'm telling you go direct to the source in your local area in your city so what we're going to do is now 
that I've typed in distributor, distributors, I'm gonna click where it says more places. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna start looking at all these distributors in my local area and see which distributors here are selling actual name brand products that I can sell, right? So I'm gonna go to Empire Distributors. I'm gonna click on their website, all right? So let me see what they're selling, our brands. So there's like a wine company. So, okay, so this distributor is not gonna work with me. I'm not trying to sell um, their wine on Amazon. I need a distributor that has like name brand products like Tide, Fiji, like brands that people are, are buying every single day, right? So I'm gonna click on DJ Distributors, see what, see what it says here. So I'm gonna go to their website, see what it says. Okay, so this is a grocery store distributor. So, okay, look, this distributor actually has name brands, right? These name brands you can find on Amazon. So this could be a distributor that I could open up a wholesale account with and possibly sell these name brands on Amazon, okay? Now let's keep going. Let's see, we got SND Wholesale Import Distributor. Let's open up their website. Okay, they don't have a website, so I'm gonna keep going. We got exclusive distributors, EZ distributors. You got a lot. So these are all that you can that you can go through and see which, which one of these distributors do you actually wanna open up wholesale accounts with. So let's see, let's keep going through these top line distributors. Let's go to their website, see what it says. So, okay, so this is a restaurant. This is a restaurant website for like restaurant uh, distribution. So that's not gonna work, but we're gonna keep going. And guys, this is a tedious process, but I promise you, this is how you can open up your whole first wholesale account because not everyone is doing this right here. So instead of distributors, I'm gonna switch up the wording. I'm gonna type in wholesale and let's see what we can find. So wholesale, people saying that it's a scam probably don't even have the, the bands to start. So you actually don't even need a lot of money to start this business. But uh, what I've noticed guys is most people that are skeptical, most people that say things are a scam, they're simply just saying that so they can convince themselves not to do the work, to not to actually put in the work to see the results, right? Because it's much more easy to call something a scam than call yourself lazy for not putting in the work and get into the bag, all right? So ignore all of the haters in the live because this online stuff is what allowed me to get out my nine to five, get a watch like this, buy my mom a house, buy real estate and do a lot of things. So to all my people that want to learn, let's get to this bag, all right? So let's see. Uh, so these are all wholesale accounts or wholesale um, companies that are in my local area. As you can see, this is like my local area right here. And I'm going to go down. Let's see. Close out Express. So this is another company right here. Let's go to their website. As you can see, they have name brand products. These are products that you could find inside of a store. So we're going to click right here and boom, check this out, guys. Look, they have name brand products, wholesale. So I'm going to click right here and you can see that these are all name brands. These are all brands that you would find inside of a Kroger inside of a Target. And these are products that you can sell on Amazon. Now, this is one thing to note. Their website doesn't look the best, right? Like this is literally all their website is. But you have to understand, you have to understand that these companies, these distributors, these suppliers, they're usually run by people that are like old, like 50, 60, 70 years old. They've been in the business for a long time. So they're not really tech savvy people. So don't expect them to have nice looking website. But what you can do is if you really want to open up a wholesale account is because this distributor, this wholesale wholesalers in your local area, you can actually drive to the distributor or you can email them or you can call them and you can open up a wholesale account and they'll give you what's called a CSV file with all of the inventory that's inside of their warehouse. Because more likely than not, these products may have already sold or these products right here might be years old that this actually may not represent what they actually have in their warehouse. But these are all wholesalers and distributors that are willing to, to let you open up wholesale accounts with them because they're literally making money off you. They would rather sell you a hundred units, a thousand units, two thousand units at a wholesale price all at once, then sell it at Amazon themselves because they're not tech savvy. They don't want to deal with the online customers. They don't even most of them don't even know how to set up the Amazon stuff themselves, right? So you can go to these wholesale distributors, pull up, let them know that hey, you know, I sell a lot of volume online. I'm looking forward to opening a brick and mortar soon. Even if you have no intention to, you can just let them know that they might think that you're a big shot just by saying that. And um, then they're gonna allow you to open up a wholesale account, they're gonna give you the CSV file and then get guess what guys when you have the csv file with all the inventory right with all the items that you can potentially sell and let me see if i have a csv that i can show you guys so let me go to, let me go to another uh distributor website just so i can show you guys what a csv file looks like so this is another website that i use to find suppliers and distributors it's called wholesale central so let's say for example let me go to this website right here you can hear you can see here that it says click here to download inventory list right so most of these suppliers are going to have an inventory list they're going to have a price list and you're gonna have to ask for it most times some websites you'll be able to download it after you exchange some information like you see right here so I'm gonna show you uh, what their inventory list is looking like so boom I'm gonna open it up right here so boom you can see this is 
what the this is what a CSV file and inventory list looks like. You can see that these are all name brand products, right? Lego, Better Chef, Naruto, Samurai Warriors. This is the PS4 game, Nintendo Switch game, and you can see that this is the regular price. This is uh what they're charging you to buy. This is the wholesale price, and this is how much they have in stock. Okay, so and then if you want to see a picture of the actual item, you could click on it. So you can see this is a Hello Kitty like lunchbox, and this is the minimum order quantity. People always ask me, hey, Will, how much money do you need to get started? It's different for every supplier. So for example, this right here, this is a deodorant, this vegan deodorant, it costs $3. The minimum order quantity is 50, meaning let's do the math, guys. Let's let's do the math because people always like to say, oh, you need thousands of dollars to get into Amazon FBA. You need 5K, 10K, etc. Well, let's do the math. If the vegan deodorant costs $3 and the minimum order quantity is 50, what is three times 50? That means you can start with $150 and you would have all of these you would have all of these units of vegan deodorant that you can then sell on Amazon and and then flip your money right I tell people all the time you can start small right I'm not the type of guy to say oh you need 5k to start because I don't want to discourage people that don't have that much money because when I started I only had $400 to my name right so it depends on exactly what you're selling now if you're selling something that costs a hundred dollars wholesale and then the minimum order quantity is 500 then yes you'll need some bands to start but not every Thing is like that right so let's actually go to the Amazon link on one of these so for example this vegan deodorant so there's another deodorant right here this vegan deodorant costs eleven dollars right wholesale now if we go to the Amazon link and we can go to the Amazon link by getting this ASIN right here so I'm gonna copy that that's like a, a specific code for Amazon products I'm gonna go to amazon.com I'm gonna click on something random let me search for the ASIN see if it pops up okay boom so this is deodorant right here so I'm gonna have to look specifically to see what exactly what deodorant this is so this is a three pack of the black pepper sensitive skin deodorant okay boom so you can see that this deodorant right here is selling for eleven dollars and fifty cents on amazon which means that's this supplier the price he's giving us 10.99 is not going to be profitable for us right so don't expect every single product in here to be profitable for you to sell which is why it's important that you use certain tools right so there's actually a tool out here called scan unlimited and i talk about all all of this stuff that I'm talking about in a step-by-step -step fashion on my free trainings all right so you see that link down here www.ecomdegreeworkshop.com I'm actually hosting a free workshop tomorrow okay so if you're watching this and you're serious about building a second stream of income you're serious about making money online this is how much time you have before my free workshop starts it's on May 29th you got one day and one hour to register the spots are almost all gone all right and it's, it's completely free but only register if you're gonna show up only register if you're gonna be there only register so if you're actually serious about putting in the work but um as i was saying scan unlimited is a tool that you're gonna want to need you're gonna want to get the reason being is because scan unlimited what they do is you upload your csv file and it bulk scans everything like it'll it'll literally scan the whole csv file and tell you exactly which products in that whole list is profitable to sell on amazon it'll calculate the amazon fees it'll calculate exactly how much profit you're gonna make per unit after all the fees after your inventory cost after everything and it scans the whole list it doesn't matter if that whole list has a hundred thousand products it literally scans the whole list it takes like it depends how long like it, it'll go from sometimes it takes 30 seconds if it's a bigger list it might take five minutes ten minutes etc but it'll scan the whole list and tell you exactly which products you need to focus on and which products you need to disregard that are on that list all right so again there's a lot of things that go into being profitable with this business and i'm not going to upload a csv file on this live simply because I just don't have enough time. But if you're serious about learning how to do this step by step, and that free workshop down there is for you, all right? I want you to be like Kevin. So for you guys that don't know, if you've ever seen me post one of these plaques, this is the plaque that I give to every single student that ends up making over six figures after attending one of my free trainings, right? So this guy right here, Kevin, he ended up making over $100,000 with his Amazon business, right? I wanna hand over this plaque to every single one of you guys watching right now, right? And then my boy Adidia, I still got a pull up on him because he lives in Atlanta. He ended up making over hundred thousand dollars with his Amazon business as well and the cool thing about me that not a lot of people do guys is not only do I teach Amazon but I teach Shopify dropshipping as well two very lucrative different business models that um that I've been able to make a substantial amount of money in right so these business models have allowed me to get into more things than just e-commerce right so I've been able to buy real estate I actually got these in the mail today these are all actually checks from my real estate property in Ohio right I get mailed these checks every single month this is tenants rent that is coming in every single month from
from from my rental properties that I've been able to buy because of e-commerce, right? So again, if you want to learn step by step how to do this, then the link is down there. It says the workshop costs twenty seven dollars. That's optional, bro. You don't have to pay the twenty seven dollars completely free. But even if it did cost twenty seven dollars, are you really gonna stop that? Stop that? Uh, stop that price from letting you get this information right here? Because if so, you're tripping. But um, I'm finna get off this live. Got some things I need to work on. I appreciate you guys for being on this live. I hope you got some game. Peace.